guys, it's Alicia. So today I wanted to do a review on the new NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. So I'm just going to show you guys how I have been using it and I'm also going to show you my new um, natural makeup routine that I have incorporated this into. So if you want to see a demo on this product, then keep on watching. Okay, so I bought mine from Ulta and I'm using the shade Golden. Um, this is number 13. Um, I purchased it with the foundation brush, but I don't think it works that great, honestly. It doesn't work to drop the foundation directly on the brush and try to apply it because the product just sinks to the bottom of the brush. So instead, I have just been uh, using my beauty blender to apply this foundation. Alright, so my face is already moisturized, but I'm going to take my Glossier um, Priming Moisturizer and put that on. So I just use this as a primer because I find that it doesn't really do the greatest job at actually moisturizing your face, but it does a really nice job at priming. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and apply this to my face. Okay, and then as you can see, my eyebrows are already done. Um, you guys can check out um, my eyebrow playlist video actually if you want to see how I do my eyebrows, also how I shape them, groom them, and all that good stuff. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just shake up the product just to make sure it's all nice and even. And just grab a little bit of it. And I'm just going to start up here at my forehead and I'm just going to do like three drops. <laughs> and I'm just going to go for a light coverage. Um, that's the whole reason I actually bought this foundation was because I could control the coverage and I've been looking for a good light coverage foundation. Um, just because my skin, it's pretty clear, but I just want to achieve a bit of a more um, even skin tone all around so I think this actually does the job and it helps me get a nice even complexion. And when I use this foundation with a um, with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer, I don't feel like um, it clings to any dry patches or um, and it, it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face which is really good. So this is how the foundation is looking on my skin. You can see that it gives me a really nice even complexion and everything just looks really seamless. And it, the Beauty Blender did a really nice job at blending it all in. Okay, so the next step in my natural makeup look is um, bronzing. So I use the NYX Matte Bronzer. Mine is in Deep Tan. I just go ahead and apply this bronzer um, basically all over my face. I, I like to start in, in the hollows of my cheeks, move it up to my forehead, and then my jawline. It just adds a really nice sun-kissed look to my makeup. And then I like to take the same bronzer um, on a blending brush. This one is a Sephora Pro blending brush, large number 27. And I'm just gonna take a little tap of this bronzer and just kind of like contour the sides of my nose a little bit. And I just like to take the tiniest amount to do this because I don't want it to look like a drastic, like I've got lines going down the sides of my nose. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out as best as I can. And then I take the same bronzer and I just put it into my crease and all over my lid. Okay, so now after the bronzer is done, I move on to highlighter. I use the ColourPop highlighter in Wisp and I just take that with my beauty blender and just dip that in there and then apply that right to my cheekbones, right underneath my eyebrow.
and then the inner corners of my eyes. And I also take that on the center of my nose. And moving on to blush, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Blush in the shade Flame. And I just apply that with my Real Techniques blush brush to the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Today I am using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Okay, and then to finish off the look, I'm going to go ahead and apply some lip products. I am using the ColourPop and Alexis Run Collab. This is the blotted lip in the color Deja Vu. And I'm topping that off with the Glossier Roseball.com. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!